Hi everyone, me again, uh, doing an update for uh, the uh, church services on a Sunday. Uh, just a couple of pointers really, and a catch up and a refresher, just to keep everyone up to date. Um, so uh, we are meeting as per, uh, we, well as we have been since July now, uh, continue to meet in the church. Uh, COVID restrictions have been updated by the government, but they don't apply to us. So we still have uh, 27 households in the main church uh, able to come and take part. We have uh, also got uh, 16 overflow household spaces in the lounge. Uh, so if there's a lot of people turn up on Sunday, we should be able to cope with that as well. Uh, and so uh, that's all uh, the same. Uh, One-way systems are the same through the church as I've published before, but just to let you know, if you're going down through the church, right and left um, uh, going out on the right and the left so side you can go out through the side and then go out through the back really of the church and then come back through the car park to the front uh, having that one-way system stops people going face to face uh, face coverings are the same we still need to wear face coverings in the church unless you've got a good reason uh, not to do so that's an, a reason to do with um, respiratory condition that means that it's dangerous to do so or you've got anxiety um, then you don't need to wear a mask, but otherwise face covering. Otherwise, we ask that people do at all times in the building, even when uh, seated, because uh, there's a higher density of people. Um, it's coming towards winter, uh, and uh, well, with winter, it gets colder. Um, and people have asked me, oh, can't we shut the windows now it's getting a bit colder? Uh, the answer to that, I'm afraid, is no, we can't. Um, we have to have good ventilation through the building. Uh, and uh, so windows and the doors, unless it's absolutely blowing a gale, uh, need to be left open. And that means for all of us, uh, for you guys, uh, for us guys, uh, we are all going to have to dress up warmer. So uh, my, as I said on Sunday, for those who are at Sunday or, or watched it on the live stream, uh, the first priority for you on a Sunday morning if you're coming to church is not what colour do I wear, but how cold is it outside. Put on your clothes, go and stand outside and think, well, this is probably about the temperature it's going to be in the church. Uh, that applies to all the work in the church, so youth work, children's work, make sure your kids are dressed up well. Uh, which leads me on to my next point, and that is that uh, youth work has now restarted, and this Sunday, children's work restarts. Um, and that's exciting for us. It's also new and, uh, and uh, scary for those who are leading it. So pray for them. Uh, but if you've got children and you've got youth, then basically uh, they're not joining us in the main church service at any point during this period. Uh, they're going straight to their groups. They're having worship and they're having their own version of stuff going on, uh, catered for, uh, for them. And if you're, if you're parents you, and you're part of the church here, you should have already had a uh, a letter from Jotham explaining exactly what needs to happen. If you have not uh, heard from us uh, um, and you want to bring your kids, we have 15 spaces for youth and we have 15 spaces for children. Uh, there, there are quite a lot of youth and not so many kids around at the moment. So if you want to come along, can you please uh, ring us before you come uh, or contact us? You can do so uh, you can ring us on 01202 uh, or you can uh, email uh, Jotham, that's J-O-T-H-A-M, at twinemchurch.org uh, for him to uh, see about getting you uh, into a, a place in the church. So uh, those are the two things there. Um, Kids work in the midweek, still not running. Other groups are starting to uh, consider uh, meeting up again, uh, which is exciting and scary and all the same sorts of things at the same time. Uh, the other big thing at the moment is the uh, test and trace from the, uh, um, uh, from the NHS. So on smartphones, you get an app, which we're asking church uh, please to download. Uh, and to uh, put onto their phones, onto their smartphones. It's an app that you can get from Apple Store if you've got an Apple phone or if you've got uh, Android or, or Google phone, then you go to the Google Play Store. You download the app and when you come in, you'll see one of these QR codes. Uh, this is a special one for Twynham and it tells uh, the NHS that you have visited Twynham 
uh, and uh, that's all it does. It just tells the NHS that you visited Twynham, or actually that your phone has visited Twynham. Uh, so just uh, if you could scan in when you come in, that would be really helpful uh, for us. We will still be taking a register uh, because not everybody has smartphones, but it would just help the NHS to, if something does go wrong, then to be able to get in touch with uh, people in the church more quickly, help stop the spread of the, of the virus and keep people more safe. Um, if if you have any of the standard COVID symptoms, that is a persistent cough uh, that goes on three times, uh, a long bout of coughing three times in 24 hours, uh, or you're coughing for uh, one hour without stopping or, or struggling to stop, uh, or, and or you have a high temperature, a temperature above 37.5 degrees, that's persistent and high, uh, or you lose your taste or smell or it's different in some way, we would ask you actually, do, can you not come to church that week? Get in touch with uh, the NHS um, uh, phone number and give them a ring and just say that you need a, a COVID test uh, and get yourself tested. We don't want obviously to put uh, you at danger uh, coming in and we don't want you to put others in danger so it's just to do that uh, that would be uh, fantastic uh, we want to welcome as many people into the church as possible coming uh, coming in uh, but we want to remain as safe as possible we're trying to be courageous as a church but we're also trying to be wise as a church not foolish so uh, if you could uh, follow those guidelines uh, that would be great uh, we'd love to see you coming um, so if you're not a part of a church or you haven't been able to come to this point uh, we've got plenty of room we think at the moment and hopefully we'll be able to uh, sort things out as we go along so bless you uh, we'll speak to you soon hopefully we'll see you soon if you can't come continue to do the live stream uh, we're getting lots of people there all over the country all over the world so uh, join in join in wherever you can join in bless you take care